to your seven day forecast with angelic ascensions i hope all is genuinely well with you this may be a reading that may resonate with you if you happen to have libra and your sun moon rising venus dominant in your little chart seventh house placement or if you happen to be cross watching there are a few things that i would like you to keep in mind libra as you listen to this reading understand that even though i'm calling this a seven day forecast not everything happens at the exact same time for everyone so it may be necessary for you to give the reading a chance to play out in your life I always encourage you to listen to the reading with an open mind and with discernment and discretion please don't make any rash decisions based on what you hear from a general reading if you would like a reading based on your own personal energy you can of course book a reading on my website which happens to be angelicascensionstarot.com lastly libra we're going to go over some topics that might be heavy might be sensitive that's not the type of reading that you prefer take this opportunity to go ahead and click off otherwise those of you who are ready to take a deep dive with me let's see what these next seven days have in store for you libra mm, libra so yeah, there might be some type of shocking news that you might find out you might see something or hear about something that shocks you it might be a pregnancy maybe some of you this week libra nation you're finding out that you're pregnant or there's news of pregnancy around you oh, it looks like you've been dealing with some stuff libra emotionally maybe you haven't really excuse me been able to get the rest that you need it seems like your dedication to something is starting to wear off yeah maybe you don't know how to tell someone yeah maybe you don't know how to tell someone that you feel trapped maybe you do feel stuck in a particular situation we're going to see what this is about there's the emperor aries leo sagittarius You got a cancer that's in your reading. You have a fire sign that's highly featured in your reading. That would be the emperor likely. But you have a Leo. This would be Leo, Sag, or Aries. Here you are, Libra. Let's see what you're doing in your... <laughs> the Seven of Swords. The Sun, Leo. King of Wands. Okay, so you might be dealing with a Gemini. You could possibly be dealing with um, a Virgo. Maybe you are Libra Virgo. Okay. There's a lot going on here. Seems like somebody could be concerned about their reputation, their job. You have some weirdo activity in your situation. It seems like you might need to choose a path with something that you're dealing with. And maybe it's hard for you to kind of like make a decision about something. Because it seems like this week you're having to make a decision about something in particular. Let's see who's in your energy this week. Leo. Uh, Libra. I, obviously there's a Leo. Angel. All right. Seems like your angels have stepped in. Mm. Yeah, maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. You got a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, you got some weirdness <laughs> going on in the background in your situation. You got a motorcycle. Maybe you're taking a ride. Maybe you're doing a test drive, Libra. Okay. You also have somebody um maybe making fun of you okay, you got a lot going on okay let's see what else is going on with the libra nation boundaries okay whoever this is that you feel is just kind of playing around in your energy it feels like you you're putting up some type of a boundary this could have something to do with an intimate partner. 
Hey, definitely some intimacy this week. Somebody's pullout game isn't that good. A Libra, a cross watcher. So if somebody tells you they're going to pull out, they're not going to get, you might get pregnant. Okay. So if that's something that you're wanting to prevent, it looks like you have the ability to do so. Um, but for someone, like I said, you might be shocked about a pregnancy. What is this pregnancy about spirit guides? So somebody's pregnant. Instinct. Okay. Definitely have somebody tiptoeing around in your energy. But if we're going to relate this to a love relationship, since we're talking about intimate partners, your instincts might be up about what somebody is doing behind your back. Somebody have a baby on you, Libra? A cross watcher? Because it looks like you're watching somebody. Or there's somebody watching you trying to hunt you down, hunt down some type of information about you. Because let's make that clear. You have some nosy people in your energy. Somebody's looking for you. Looking for you or someone is looking for the truth. Because it feels like that's what's missing in your situation. What is someone looking for, Holy Spirit? Your instincts are up about a situation. Yeah, you're worried. There's a few things that I feel that you're worried about. But what this tells me is that you're worried that somebody's creeping. You're worried that maybe somebody's doing their thing when they're not around you. Libra, a cross watcher. You might be getting telltale signs, okay? And this person's body language or the way that they've been acting lately that maybe something is up. yeah and maybe this is you maybe this is you feeling like maybe you know what i did say that your dedication to something is being tested or you know you're you're questioning whether or not you should stay dedicated to something it feels like maybe you are wanting to go your separate ways from someone maybe you're you're kind of second guessing the situation maybe you kind of feel like you got involved with the wrong person or that you made the wrong choice but you're definitely feeling like somebody's not really taking the relationship seriously. Your instincts are up about this King of Wands. Yeah, this is you being very watchful of this individual. And it seems like this person has put you through something before. And maybe this week you're not really getting along. And this is the situation that's frustrating you. Things might be tense around the house this week. Yes, you got a repeating situation. So this feels like somebody is, if they've done it to you once, they're doing it again. And that might be what you're kind of being watchful of this person about. It seems like you're suspicious. You're suspicious that something's going on behind your back. Libra, a cross watcher. This is why I feel like this week you're putting up boundaries. But I also feel like there might be people meddling in your business or people that you might feel are prying into your situation. And so in that regard too, you're putting up boundaries. There might be outsiders in your, in your situation. Integrity. Yeah, this has something to do with someone, with what someone is doing when you're not around. You don't trust this person. Yeah. Now, I did say that something is on repeat in your life. And it seems like someone could be coming back. And maybe that could be what you're worried about. Maybe whether or not to let somebody back in your life. Because the, the, by the looks of it, Libra, you might feel like this person is more of an enemy than an intimate partner somebody is coming back somebody might be coming to your house libra and maybe for a minute they were not invited so maybe you moved away from someone or maybe sometime some of you this week that's what you're thinking about moving away yeah this is you questioning whether or not you made a mistake thank you spirit guides with getting involved with someone now, there is someone that's coming to you 
and they're gonna claim that maybe they've made some changes or maybe they're trying to show you that they've made some type of change it's like somebody showed you something a certain side of themselves in the past libra and it just seems like because somebody might be coming to creep back into your situation you guys are saying listen to your instinct is this a wolf in sheep's clothing and the scenario that i'm describing does not have to be a love relationship it could have something to do with your children and it could have something to do with what they're doing in school because it seems like something might be going on with a kid when it comes to their assignments or with school in general which we'll look into a bit later but for a majority of you this feels like this is a love relationship definitely there's something going on career-wise somebody could be on dating sites possibly trying to meet up with people on the side libra Ooh, okay yeah there's definitely some type of childhood trauma possibly connected to school for a child i think you might for some of you libras there might be um a child that you have that might have a learning disability or um mm -hmm. they have a challenge with learning they have a challenge with school maybe you might be getting a child evaluated okay something's going on with a child in school this week and you might have a feeling about that okay this week yeah it feels like maybe there's somebody that you do feel is annoying you feel like somebody's going out of their way to be annoying and you definitely feel like they're involved with somebody else you feel like maybe this person can be very dangerous at times because it looks like somebody could have a really bad temper and maybe that might be why you're kind of tiptoeing around your situation um somebody might be second guessing this relationship currently because somebody could still be in love with their ex and somebody could be feeling like you know what maybe this relationship didn't work out and it seems like somebody could be testing the theory in their mind that maybe they should have maybe tried to work things out with their ex. But maybe the situation is just kind of done. Or for some of you, maybe somebody, um, an intimate partner of yours could have passed away. But I feel like for some of you, there could be someone that was involved in a previous relationship and baggage and emotional situations from hurt and disappointment from previous relationships could really be doing this relationship and it could have created a lot of damage but it seems like for some of you libras there may be an abrupt ending that might be coming that you might be coming across for some of you the shock that you might come across is this somebody that you're in an intimate relationship with might be bisexual and you might be finding out about that and maybe they completely kept that under wraps but it kind of seems like maybe you had some type of an instinct it might be something that you come across this week that kind of confirms the suspicion that you have because like i did say somebody's on the hunt for some information somebody's under the impression that somebody's lying about something or they're just kind of concealing the truth and somebody knows somebody's lying that's why somebody's like lingering around watching obsessing over the situation where this is somebody possibly looking into paternity of a child there might be somebody that wonders you know that they want the information you know are you the father of this child it seems like somebody wants to know and it seems like there could be a lot of turbulence, a lot of arguing. And if there is a pregnancy, it seems like somebody could be questioning whether or not they're going to keep this child because of the circumstances that they're in in this situation. It seems like something could be calling back a lot of childhood trauma for you. Either this is you dealing with childhood trauma 
or this is you recognizing that there's just a, so much baggage mixed up in this situation that it just feels like it's difficult to move forward or someone may have needed to deal with their childhood trauma before really coming to a relationship. So for whatever reason, this could even be a friend of yours. This is why you're putting up boundaries. It just seems like a, like too much is, is enough in this situation. For others of you, this shock might be a situation where you're gonna cut off guard. Let's see, what's going on with the Libras? What, the shock might be that somebody's coming back. Somebody might be getting in touch with you this week. Libra. And you might be shocked to hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time. Somebody feels like for a minute that you just completely locked them out of your life or completely disregarded them. But for some of you, this feels like this is a child. Somebody, yeah, this is you clinging to the past. Somebody cannot seem to let go of the past. It could have had something to do with what happened in this relationship. Somebody did something over and over to you. And it seems like you can't seem to, to, to separate yourself from that. So if you do go back into this situation there's a Cancerian coming your way. If I think that's what somebody is, is is hoping that maybe you can let go of. For others of you, this is a parent-child relationship. There's a parent in this situation that's coming off controlling. This could be a parent that could be reflecting on the past, though. This could be a parent looking back on the situation and realizing, you know what? I know I made a mistake. This could be you might feel like you made a mistake with letting um, maybe somebody who was violent around your children. Or for others of you, it feels like it's um, your relationship with your child. It feels like you have a strange relationship with a child currently. And maybe you feel like circumstances connected to things with your the things that are going on with your child right now are completely out of your hands. You might have a very rebellious child. This week it feels like there might be a child that does not listen. Or there might be a parent that could be completely overreacting when a child makes mistakes. Maybe in school. Or this could be like a child acting their age, you know? This week, it really does feel like something is on your mind. And maybe there's some things about your situation or your circumstances that you're hoping to understand. Okay, yeah. This is definitely a situation where somebody is very insulting to the other person. And some of you might be dealing with someone who has a drug addiction. Somebody who could be, that you might feel is a complete liar. That's what you might be coming across this week. I did say someone is looking for the truth. Someone feels like you've lied about something, Libra. Or Crosswatcher, you're catching somebody in a lie. Somebody calls out your flaws, Libra, but it seems like somebody doesn't see their own. That's the devil in this situation. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You might have some racism. Somebody could be very materialistic in your situation. Yeah, see, there's definitely something going on. Something else that might be going on. This is a relationship. It's like you guys are saying it might be, you might be wasting your time in this situation or that's what you're coming to realize. That, that with some type of relationship in your life, it's, it's the same revolving pattern. And it looks like this week you might be looking into the source of the situation, which is your childhood trauma, which could be causing things to kind of get out of hand. Or it could be the cause of some type of drug addiction. This week, somebody might be going back into some type of drug relapse. Holy Spirit, what's going on with Libra? Okay. 
I don't know, random. Mm -hmm. Libra, you might be going to put gas in your car. This week you might be frequenting a lot of restaurants. Maybe you're eating out a lot. And maybe you might need um, to take a trip to the, to the store. Maybe you might be stopping by the gym. Maybe you might be getting your car washed. You know, just little things that you might be doing. Maybe you're spending a lot of time in a parking lot, whatever. Oh, so I do see somebody watching you. You might need to go by the bank though. So you could be going to get a loan. Maybe you're going to get, uh, maybe you're concerned about your credit. So you could be applying for some type of credit. If you do, it feels like this money is coming through for you. Some type of money, okay? Money situations, type of money matter that's overwhelming you this week, Libra. It feels like that's what's on your mind. You feel like there's something in your situation that you can't control. It feels like it's your financial situation where you feel like month after month, you keep ending up in the same situation. And so I think that's, that's where you're feeling trapped. You're feeling stuck. It might be about um, your rent or the roof over your head, your mortgage. It seems like that's what you're worried about. For others of you, this might be a neighbor. Since we're talking about your living situation, you might have some weird neighbors that might be overly concerned about your situation. And maybe that's something that's really stressing you out this week. Maybe you feel like every time you move, you end up near some weird neighbors or some odd circumstances. And it looks like you are trying to maybe um, Maybe you are trying to maybe um, freshen up your living space. Maybe you're trying to do some redecorating. You know what I mean? Maybe you're expecting company. It does. It feels like you are. So maybe you're completely aware that maybe someone's coming by. But it does. It feels like someone is, is coming by this week. And it might be at an awkward time. It might be at a time where in the background of your situation, you have some things that you're dealing with. Or maybe you haven't heard from someone in a while. It's because they might be going through some things, some personal things in their life. And maybe they're trying to get some things straightened out. Maybe you might not even know because it looks like maybe somebody might be trying to put on a brave face. But behind closed doors, it feels like somebody might really be going through something Libra. And it seems like maybe your instinct is kind of chiming in that maybe there might be something going on that maybe somebody that you care about isn't telling you and maybe that's why you're going to look for information but for others of you there's something weird about this about somebody looking into your situation because it feels like for some of you somebody could be going to hunt for information we talked about that at the top of the reading that there could be a wolf in sheep's clothing Somebody who's being fake or phony or prowling around the situation, lurking in the shadows in your situation. It could be someone in a position of power. That's the justice system here. So maybe something might be going on with the legal system. Definitely something's going on in your pockets. I don't know if this is someone trying to create some type of fear tactic for you. But... Or maybe this is something that you're afraid of. Fire in your house. You might want to make sure that you have a fire extinguisher. Lever a cross watcher attack. Maybe this is why I'm seeing the, the legal situation. Yes. Justice, injustice. There's something going on in court. Or maybe that's something that you're worried about. That maybe someone is going to attack you in court. This feels like... <laughs> Have you had some type of legal situation before? Okay, I definitely feel like they're moving. Either somebody is moving out mm-hmm yeah for sale maybe you're putting your property up for sale I don't know. 
do you live near a cemetery? Because it feels like maybe that's something that you're thinking about, that you're dealing with. Oh, definitely having some conflict with someone. What's going on with court? Maybe some of you that is. That's, that's where you're having some type of dispute in court with someone. And that could be where someone is coming to look for you, where someone is com coming to like hunt for information. Somebody's trying to lock somebody up. Okay, you got a few situations that's going on here. It feels like somebody could be afraid about their living situation. Somebody might be feeling like, okay, you know, maybe their spending habits. They feel like, okay, they made a mistake. They, and maybe that's, like I said, that, that's the situation that you, you find yourself repeating month after month. But for others of you, it feels like maybe there was a mistake with something and it feels like something might catch up with someone especially if this has something to do with the court you preparing for a court case no this feels like maybe you're hiring a lawyer somebody's trying to trap you it looks like Somebody could be trying to trap someone with a baby to keep somebody from leaving. For others of you, yeah, it's like looking like somebody is waiting for somebody to mess up so they can trap them or put them behind bars. So I don't know what this is, Libra. I don't know if you have a warrant, something that you didn't pay or if this is something going on with children. Like there might, there's a mother that's at the center of this situation. Like this might be someone going to find out information about a mom. Okay, someone's doing something undercover, somebody, there could be a PI involved in this. I know it's gonna sound so random, but again, it feels like somebody is looking into your information and you, because let's, let, let's make that clear. That's what someone is doing. Being nosy, looking into your information, and you might have a hunch about it. That might be what you're worried about. Especially if something happened before, it feels like you're worried that it happens again. You may have moved away or changed cities to avoid a particular situation or person and it seems like somebody might be trying to find you, come to your house. It could either cause conflict or cause some type of problem, but this is not somebody that you feel is trustworthy or honest. Yeah, this looks like somebody is trying to sue you. And maybe you're at someone's mercy because you kind of need help or you don't have the finances that you need to be able to kind of fight this legal situation. For others of you, it's not that serious. This feels like somebody feels confined because maybe they don't know what to say. Um, I think somebody does wish that you would come back, but maybe somebody's kind of stuck in a particular circumstance. Maybe they got somebody else pregnant and they're kind of stuck in that situation. I think somebody wants you back because let's make it clear. Somebody wishes that someone would come back. Is somebody taking away somebody's kids? I think that might be what you're worried about. There might be a teacher involved in this. Somebody could be trying to report someone. But this doesn't seem like this is actually happening. This feels like this is something that you're afraid of. So it feels like there's some type of fear behind this. If you're going to court because of some type of DV situation, maybe you're going to get a restraining order. And maybe there's some type of consequences to someone's actions that might be coming up. And maybe you might be a bit shocked about that. Yeah, you can't come where I'm going. Something is forbidden. This is why you're putting out boundaries. 
And this could have something to do with the person that's coming to your home or coming to be around your family. This feels like this, this has some type of physical violence connected to this. And it seems like something might be affecting someone's safety. And that might be why somebody's trying to leave a situation. It seems like you're trying to get away from someone. Yes. I hope nobody passed away. Libra. Because that's what this is looking like. Like this is looking like it's time to, yes, escape. A particular situation before it's too late others of you this is not something that's happening now I mentioned to you this is either something that you're worried about or this is something that did happen and now it's a memory it's something that's on your mind but something has triggered that memory it seems like you're really going through it it feels like you're not only going through it in certain instances in your life but it feels like there might be like something that's like a, like a figurative demon in your life unless maybe you are you're under some type of spiritual attack and this is the situation that's frustrating you spiritually okay because it does it feels like you're under there's some type of adversity that you're dealing with spiritually i accept the challenges are the best way to learn yeah, I think something's going on spiritually for you. You're under some type of spiritual attack. And it seems like that's that it's 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 attacking your mental space. It feels like that's all you can think about. There's maybe some money that you owe. And the fact that maybe somebody does think this is funny. Maybe they do. Maybe somebody does. Or maybe this could be a reminder to maybe focus on the lighter side of life because it feels like you're thinking about, like you, you feel like something is just so final. I'm telling you, did somebody pass away? Okay, somebody that did pass might be popping up into your me memory banks, okay? You might be looking at old pictures, old photos. Maybe you're going to the cemetery to visit someone. Yeah, it feels like maybe something's going on. It just seems like 2023 has been a very harsh year for you. It's brought you a lot of harsh realities and some eye-opening circumstances. But it seems like this year, 2024, is the year that you choose a path. And it, it feels like maybe you kind of sat on a decision last year. But this year, it feels like you're being forced to choose a path about something. Yeah, once again, I feel like you're under some type of an attack. This feels like, though, this is a spiritual attack more than anything. Definitely feels like someone is verbally attacking you. You can't get your point across. If you try to say something or you decide to be honest with someone, they check you and they shut you down in, in the midst of a conversation. You feel like you can't have a mature rational conversation with someone without, without somebody attacking you. It feels like maybe there's a, a situation that you're invested in and other people, like I said, they might be butting in. It seems like there's a relationship in your life, whether this is romantic or platonic, that is deteriorating. And somebody this week that's, that's dealing with the guilt, the brunt of a situation, this feels like this is a child. Like I said, there might be a parent that's just going off on a child when they've made a lot of mistakes. Like I said, this might be parental guilt. A parent that's looking back at a situation and wishing that they had done things differently. This looks like this could possibly be like a CPS case. And um, somebody is... But this feels like it's it's due to the fact that there's um, a lot of violence in the household. And a child that's afraid. Yeah, somebody that's looking back on a situation with a lot of regrets. I said it's either regrets about staying with someone and you feel like they're not right for you, but it feels like maybe 
it could be that. But it feels like maybe you feel stuck because of your financial situation. You want to leave, but it feels like you can't. You might feel like something has become complete hell with someone. The Hermit. The Virgo. What is this shock situation? I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to say it. We have this card talking about shock and with someone having a shocked look on their face. I guess you guys want me to talk about it. There's some type of investigation for sure. Having to do with something, something going overboard. This feels like this is a crime scene. Somebody stabbed someone? Was there a stabbing? Because it feels like that's the case. It feels like there could have been weapons involved. Definitely weapons and possibly way too much liquor. Yeah, somebody is watching somebody. Or this is somebody driving to you, coming to your house. Again, this feels like somebody is coming to your place to escape a situation. I said it's become a hellhole for someone. And somebody feels like they may have gotten involved with somebody that 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 um catfished them. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody could have come to you in the beginning like they were a perfect angel. But it seems like over time, now you see the truth that somebody is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody is not what you think they are. And this could be you possibly going to investigate the truth about something. I definitely see some type of harassment in the background. And somebody could be harassing your family. Or this could be some type of harassment at work. Speaking of work, yeah, it feels like somebody could be giving you the evil eye. But I think, yeah, we talked about that. Instincts. Your instincts are telling you about someone. So it looks like you already recognize who this person is. You recognize someone for who they are. Libra, a cross watcher. So it, it seems like this is, the, this is the week that you back off from someone. But for some of you, this legal situation also feels like it might be time to look into getting a lawyer. You got this card that says poet. Maybe you write poetry, you're writing a novel, you're writing a book. Oh, this does. This feels like, yeah, maybe you've reached the glass ceiling at work. Maybe this is some of you, if it's not at home, it's your job. You kind of feel confined or you feel shackled to the desk. You might have a lot on your mind that could be going on at home and it seems like it could be possibly bleeding into your work. It seems like you got a lot of deadlines, a lot of pressure on you. You're worried at work. Regarding your work situation, it does. It feels like you want to retreat. You have shock once again. Protection from weapons. Okay. So definitely your angels are stepping in to help you with some type of attack. This is definitely a spiritual attack, but this might be something physical protection from weapons safety in travel you got the seven of swords as if this is your guide saying watch your listen to your instinct listen to your gut feeling about people that are around you no it's not saying being paranoid but it is saying be aware of what might be going on around you because I really don't want to say this Libra, but Libra, a cross watcher, it feels like somebody might mean you bodily harm. And somebody could, like I said before, come across as so trusting with this angel card, but really someone is a wolf in sheep's clothing. So this might be a warning to keep 
to be aware of maybe who you have around your family around your home because it feels like there is some type of danger that could be lurking around your living situation and this could like your guys are saying like listen to your instinct the first time about someone that's just really sketchy but you're not looking back on a situation and feeling like, you know, I, I should have just listened to my first instinct about this person. Don't put yourself in a situation where you regret listening to your intuition the first time. Because it feels like something this week pops up where you see the truth of someone. And yeah, it's like maybe you might feel like you have to defend yourself in some, some, some type of circumstance. And that might be a situation that comes as a complete shock to you because maybe you didn't see something coming about someone uh, regarding someone. And maybe this is the week where you decide to repair the damage. Some of you, there could be some type of damage to your home because like I mentioned to you, you have a DV situation or this is a relationship with someone. I did mention a parent child relationship where you are looking back and feeling like you made certain mistakes with a child or with whomever and you decide to repair the damage there. This could be why someone is coming back. Someone may have felt like they made a mistake with you. They're sitting in a, lap, uh, this, a sea of regret and this is why they're coming back to kind of fix something with you. To try to see if a situation can improve maybe there's somebody that might be moving in with you it could be temporarily because maybe they're dealing with a financial issue that they're trying to repair and maybe they just kind of need a, a a minute to kind of like get themselves together yeah you definitely have something going on with law enforcement so i don't know if somebody is under some type of surveillance but that's kind of like what this is feeling like you have some type of eczema, you have some type of skin condition, Libra, cross watcher, the cauldron. I mentioned to you before that you could be under some type of spiritual attack, and I think so. I think this is someone maybe trying to cause problems for your money because it feels like something might be stopping the flow of your finances because that's what you're worried about. And maybe you, the mystery is who? Who's behind this? Who's the culprit to this? Like I said, masks come off this week. And you're seeing a person or a situation for exactly who they are. Especially, like I said, if this is someone spiritually attacking you, it feels like this is, I mentioned to you before, you're conquering some type of demon. Whether or not this is literal, like, like literal, I guess, in your situation, if this is spiritual is what I meant to say, or if this is some type of um, an addiction that you have, it feels like you have the ability to conquer this. And this might be, like I said, the week that you decide to take the bull by the horns and make a decision about something. So maybe this might have something to do with your group of friends. A friend, Libra, an acquaintance, oh no. They're saying it's a romantic partner, okay? So I hope all of this stuff is not going on with this person, the romantic partner. I hope not. But yeah, it's gonna be a week where your inner child, I spoke to you about that. There's a part of you where your inner child has been really it seems like maybe there's part of your inner child. Uh, maybe you kind of silenced your inner child and locked certain situations deep inside of you because maybe, you know, you have a lot on your plate and maybe it's like, uh, I don't have time to really deal with that right now. My inner child issues. But it seems like your inner child is really going out of its way to get your attention in the form of triggers. Situations that play out in your life or the way that you personally perceive situations. It could be that someone could really be coming across um, in a very loving, compassionate way, but it's your inner child that's looking at everything 
as an attack on you or an attack on your character. And if it's not your inner child, like I mentioned before, this is a literal child around you. So there might be a need for you to really look at what might be going on with a child this week. Certain things, Libra or Cross Watcher, might be weighing you down. Okay, we talked about memories. This is you looking back on the past. It feels like this is where you're dwelling, the past. Looking back at past regrets and past situations, your guides are encouraging you to look to move forward. So something that you're having to complete, okay. Who might be returning home as extended family or like i did say there might be people that are prying in your situation it might be them you might view someone as nosy though if this is extended family it feels like these are people that are um concerned about you and they want to have peace of mind that maybe you're in a good situation this is the week libra that you look inside yourself in order to make that decision which path are you going to choose? Returns items and punishes thieves, reveals hidden treasures. Returns items and punishes thieves. Something has been taken from you. You've been robbed. Maybe literally. Maybe you don't feel safe in your home. Maybe you feel like somebody's touching your items. But there's definitely some type of retribution in the situation. Justice comes through for something that was taken from you, Libra. Or if you are doing the taking, this is spirit guys coming down on your head. Yeah, this is like somebody doing something and doesn't think that anybody sees, but people see. People see this week. The spirit realm makes sure of it. Somebody is, um, somebody's got some type of ill-gotten gains. But this feels like that somebody is doing some type of, yes, I mentioned a demon. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, that solidifies it. You've got some type of demonic attack. Like somebody is trying to make it so that you lose and they win. But they're going about it in a very sinister way. That feels like this is somebody strategizing against you. Somebody could be a smoker, by the way. Psyche. I think this is somebody trying to play mental games on you, but I think you might also have some type of psychic ability. Your third eye is open. Libra, I think you might see what's going on. Yeah, see, you have some nosy neighbors, nosy people, but this is also some someone creating some type of demonic attack against you to create obstacles for you or you're doing this to someone why why is this going down spirit guys that's why your angels come in this week regardless of the why call in the storm this is you in the midst of the storm that someone is trying to create for you. It's like somebody wants to see you down on your luck. But you guys are saying, be calm in the midst of the storm because your angels are standing by you, granting you this peace of mind. But didn't I say you have to choose? It's gonna be up to you to choose. Are you gonna continue to entertain your worries? Are you going to continue to entertain what's going what you're what you're able to visually see because what you're able to see you know what i mean it seems like that's what you're focused on adversity these situations that are going on in the background are simply that they're background noise but it looks like your guys are really trying to get you to focus on them look to them for some type of safety or refuge this week we were maybe you're not feeling well Maybe you've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Yeah, something gets restored for you. Smiley face, maybe you are. You're trying to keep a smile on your face. I did say maybe 
to the public or when you're around people you're wanting to make it seem as though you're okay but like i said deep down inside it feels like you're going through something you or someone around you family harmony it feels like that's what someone wants but it also feels like it is a safety situation somebody wants to feel safe safe around maybe somebody that if this involves children somebody wants to have peace of mind that maybe their children are going to be safe around whomever this happens to be extended family whomever this this happens to be but this is you you want to feel like you have to be, be safe that you don't have to bounce around and move locations because of a situation where you feel like your safety is in jeopardy parenting and children yes thank you spirit guides so this does have something to do with a parent child situation there may be a child that wants to feel safe uh, about maybe them telling you their innermost thoughts and not feeling like somebody's just going to go off on them or completely judge them or or completely just shut them out maybe you have a child that's very introverted this week and it could be like I mentioned to you before, if it, that somebody that this child is going through something, or this is you, maybe you do make music. I mentioned to you poetry, writing. You have some type of talent, maybe for storytelling. How we show. Cowrie shells remind me of moving around a lot. It might be an Aries specifically that might be going through something or might be feeling very emotional about somebody's feeling very emotional about something. Maybe it's just a, a very emotional week for you, Libra. Yeah, definitely somebody's trying to hide their identity the devil this could be online this feels like this is someone hiding their intentions there's something hidden and weird about this situation it seems like like i said you have some type of hunch about someone that's around you or around your family and that's why you said your spirit guys are saying listen to your intuition don't look back on a situation and you know have your regrets about it crystals achievement abundance it seems like something is being restored to you we talked about that where your angels come in and restore something that was taken from you it feels like whatever you were worried about at the beginning of this week or sometime last week let's confirm it somebody's watching you in secret okay or they're watching a child or maybe that's you maybe you're the divine child okay you just got some weird eyes around you libra or cross watcher something's revealed to you this week it might be a good idea to look into your health libra Maybe this is you. You have some type of instinct about a health issue. Maybe this is your spirit guide saying, yes, Libra, look into something. It might be time to look into maybe the source of some type of headache. I'm definitely getting high blood pressure. You got migraines. You can't think straight. You have a lot of mental fog, maybe some um, muscle aches. A lot of depression, some anxiety. Maybe you're noticing some hair loss. Or this is you struggling with weight gain. I did say maybe you might be going to the gym. Maybe that's what's really frustrating you. I mentioned teacher. Yeah, maybe this is a test week for you. Maybe you're having some type of test anxiety. Panic attacks. This is what this feels like. But yeah, it might be what you're putting in your body, Libra. And that might be contributing to this feeling of unwellness. And if this is some type of an addiction that you're fighting, classic thing, I know I'm stereotyping, but bear with me. Classic thing that someone who is addicted 
says is that they, they deny their addiction. And your guys are saying, be honest with yourself. Is something really out of hand in your life? It feels like it is. Like I said, this is the week that you decide to repair the damage. It could be the damage that some type of an addiction has done. And if this is not a chemical addiction, then this feels like this is addictions, like codependent relationships, this sort of thing. But yeah, this feels like this might have something to do with a lung issue, a breathing issue. Definitely a lot of junk food, but definitely a lot of things that are going on at home. You might want to look into your liver. Um, and you may want to balance what you're eating because it does feel like it has a lot to do with that. It may have a lot to do with frustrations about maybe you feel like somebody has selective hearing. And you feel like somebody just won't listen to you. They won't hear you out. And I'm going to say something that sounds random again. Some of you have some type of digestive issue. Yeah. Solar plexus issue. It's your stomach. Your, your, your intestines. Maybe you're afraid to go to the bathroom. Libra, I know it's weird uh, saying that. But you might have like a lot of trapped toxins in your body. That's why you guys are saying it might be time for a detox. Because that could also be the source of why you're not feeling well. Any advice that you have for the Libra Nation for the next seven days? A mother's love. Maybe it's your mom that passed away. Maybe your mom's a Capricorn or an Aquarius or somebody that's on the cusp. And maybe this is you kind of looking back at memories. Or this is, like I said, you, you're thinking about somebody that passed. Maybe they did return home. Maybe they did pass. And that's something that is just really frustrating you this month this month somebody may have passed this month so they might be kind of fresh a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close she knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken i think for some of you maybe she did pass or maybe you just feel disconnected from your mother at this time a child Maybe due to a legal situation or a breakup. Maybe, yeah, you know, that's who's not you're not getting along with. Or maybe your mother was not in the home. Some type of disconnect here with a mother figure. And it could be that maybe your mom just doesn't know how to say it. Or a mother really doesn't know what's going on with a child because maybe they just have become a master at covering things up. It definitely feels like there's something going on between mother and child. And it seems like this is the week where spirit guides are saying you may really want to look into something having to do with your child or your inner child regarding something that's coming up or that's going on in your situation. Self-sabotage. We talked about things that are repeating or things that have become a repeating cycle in your life. This is the year that you're making a decision on this. You're choosing a path. You got angels and demons. For some of you, this is some type of spiritual tug of war and you're having to you know, make a decision or what side are you gonna be on, you know what I mean? Because as it looks like the other side is kind of pulling you I don't know. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Okay, so this is the situation with this inner child. You may not be able to ignore it this week. Like I said, maybe you've just kind of been pushing it down and and ignoring it putting it to the back burner you become a prison prisoner to your own self-sabotage 
your guides are calling you out of this Libra a cross watcher they want you to have peace of mind and that means dealing with the deeper issues serenity is at the bottom of the deck so this is feeling like in order for you to have to to, to be able to maintain for the purpose of your sanity there's some type of cycle that needs to be broken the most important relationship you have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday we talked about you being someone that is clinging to the past this is the week where you guys are saying it's time to let go let go of that guilt let go of whatever don't let past issues and resentments interfere with the, your serenity today past memories that's what's blocking you constantly replaying old movies the old movie in your head about situations that you may have felt were unfair to you or situations, like I said before, that maybe you feel like you made some type of mistake. This is the week that I feel like your angels come in to give you some type of understanding about why certain things happen and why certain circumstances popped up in your life, even the difficult ones. Because maybe that's been a question mark in your brain about why. Why did these things repeat? Why do you continue to run into the same type of people and situations? It may have a lot to do with that childhood trauma, that baggage. We all have trauma and baggage, but it's what we do about it that makes the difference. With that, Libra Nation, this concludes your seven day forecast with Angelic Ascensions. If you found that this reading was helpful, Libra Nation, help me out by giving this reading a thumbs up. Consider subbing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Make sure that you hit that post notification bell so that you're notified whenever I drop a new video for a sign that you're cross watching for or whenever I go live. Leave a comment below. Libra, you never know how an encouraging word may help another person that might be going through something in the comments. Thank you, Libra Nation, for deciding to tune in this week. Have a blessed, beautiful, and productive week, Libra Nation. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.